Hello everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day. My name is Mikey, and today I wanted to make a quick little beginner's guide to ammunition. Advanced players will know uh, the contents of this guide, but I wanted to give a little bit of a heads up for all the new players on to uh, what uh, ammunition they should be purchasing in the cache. So let's rock over here real quick and talk about the different ammo types. So when you first start off the game, uh, most likely you are going to be using the 243. Uh, this is the weapon you start with. And as you can see, when you first get it, uh, the only ammunition available to you is the 243 soft point bullets that you get for free. So you get 10 bullets for free, you can spam by it as much as you want. And you can see that the penetration stat is 15 and the expansion is 17. And I know when I first started the game, I was confused as to which was better. Now, I'm a hunter in real life, so the first thought was, okay, if I'm trying to shoot bone and get past bones, I would want more penetration. And if I'm shooting in vitals, I would want more expansion. And although that somewhat holds true in the game, uh, I still do not think that expansion is balanced correctly. And let me get into that a little bit. So as you can see, when you unlock the 243 polymer tips, your expansion goes way down to 4 from 17, but your penetration goes up to 30. And I'm going to make a blanket statement, especially for rifle ammunition, that the polymer tips will always be the better use. And I know that some people like to go uh, the, the conservative route with their money, and they generally stick to soft point bullets, as you can see across the board. Um, across the board, polymer tips are more expensive than uh, soft points. But I believe that for your enjoyment in the game, that switching to polymer tips as quickly as possible is a very good move. So for example, let's say you've been playing for a little bit and you want to buy your first rifle upgrade. And let's say you buy the 270. So when you buy the 270, you can achieve the penetration that a seven, more than penetration than the seven millimeter uh, soft point bullets would. And I'm gonna get into a little bit why in a second, uh, why the penetration stat is better the, than the expansion. But I just think that this can propel you into shooting bigger animals more efficiently and dropping them quicker, which will result in a lot less tracking at the beginning of the game. I know when I first purchased the game and first started playing the game that the biggest uh, hair puller for me was having to track these animals that I didn't hit perfectly uh, way too far and rarely getting a second or third shot off on them until I just gave up and lost my consecutive har harvest bonus. So I don't know if I recommend switching right away, but I do recommend when you move up from the 243, it's hard to pass up the free bullets, but as soon as you get a 270 or you get a seven millimeter, especially when you move into the 338, that you switch from uh, soft point tips to polymer tips. And so I'll do a little quick cost comparison. Like down here, um, you're gonna be spending a little less than 300 more uh, per 10. So you're really talking about 30 bucks a shot extra. And you might say that would add up over the course of a long time playing, but I really don't think that the price difference should scare you away from using polymer tip bullets. So let's go back to talking about the penetration and expansion stat a little bit. So like I said, the expansion is supposed to be designed for uh, when you hit vitals, that it should cause more carnage, have bigger blood trails, and the animals will bleed out quicker. And penetration is supposed to be useful when shooting through bones, like the spine. Uh, you'll notice that a lot of times when you're going for good vital shots that you'll be hitting the scapula, the front shoulders, and um, that can be an issue. But I still think that the penetration stat is more powerful in this game than the expansion stat. Being able to pierce the flesh make it through any bone that you may have hit, as well as hitting organs, vital organs past uh, what you would normally be able to hit with soft point bullets, I think is more beneficial than the added expansion. If you hit, a, if you make a good vital shot uh, with the polymer tips, polymer tips, you're generally gonna shoot completely through the animal, uh, as long as it's not outside of its weapon class. And if they're quartering towards you or quartering away, you might even pick up some liver, you might pick up both lungs, whereas the expansion, you would only pick up uh, one lung. So even though the expansion stat is supposed to have bigger blood trails, I think the added penetration, especially if you're going for brain shots or neck shots, spine shots, you should always go for the polymer tip bullets. I know it's going to cost a little more from the start, 
but I think switching to polymer tips will make your beginner few hours a lot more enjoyable. So that's talking about rifle ammo. I want to go down to handgun ammo real quick, and I want to let you know that from my research that I have found that these statistics, the penetration and expansion, cross over to the different uh, ammos in the game. So you can kind of relate the ammo. So for example, the biggest handgun cartridge in the flat nose, which is the penetration version, um, would the quote-unquote polymer tip version of it. Uh, has a hundred penetration, which is higher than the 338 polymer tips. And um, I have seen videos and from my discovery that this does penetrate a lot more than the 338, especially when you're inside its effective range at 54 yards. So as you can see, we have the same situation. These are just called hollow points instead of soft points. And then we got the flat nose hard cast instead of the polymer tips. And I would still recommend from, especially in the, when you're trying to train up your pistols to switch to the flat nose as quick as possible. And even though you might unlock the 44, if you do not have the hard cast flat nose bullets, I would stick with uh, the 357. Because I am noticing I'm getting great penetration out of the 357 uh, at close range. I can drop a lot of big game pretty quickly and get through shoulders and spines and uh, skulls and jaws. So I think that this is uh, the appropriate thing to do. And then shotgun ammo, of course, you have birdshot, which has no penetration, the buckshot, which has very little. So you're mostly getting flesh wounds. You might pick up a vital at close range. And then your slugs, which obviously has the appropriate penetration to be shooting a uh, big game. And then your arrows, they, the higher the grain, the more penetration they have. They don't have any expansion, but they do do a lot of damage. So you can relate this, you know, very closely to uh, the 454, the 600 grain bullet, or these arrows. So I hope that helps a little bit. Like I said, my blanket recommendation is to always stick with polymer tips. I believe it's it's going to make the game so much more enjoyable and I think you'll stick with the game especially at the beginning when you have a 243 and if you're not having a, a great day with shot placement uh, the polymer tips will help you uh, make up for that in a little way so yeah I wanted to make this guy just to let you guys know that I think that the polymer tips are a little bit overbalanced I think that they should make the soft points expansion uh, have a bigger effect to reward people who are shooting for vitals and then people that want to use polymer tips to go for what either uh, brain shots or spine shots um, or shoulder shooting I think the game should be better balanced so people can choose which kind of shot placement they would like to use the majority of the time right now I think it's just a little bit one-sided and even though it's a little more expensive I don't think that's enough to make it worth switching back to the soft points so yeah I hope that helps and I hope you guys are having fun in this game uh, if you have any questions about uh, ammunition leave it down below and I'll be glad to answer them all right guys have a great day